Hi everyone, Dave here from Oz Drug Test with uh, what we would call a revolutionary test for cannabis. Uh, so what's good about this uh, urine test is that you don't just get a negative or non-negative result to THC in urine. Uh, it will give you an indication of the amount of THC in a urine sample by testing five different cutoff levels in one test. Uh, so in general speaking, um, drug tests are what they call qualitative, uh, in either they give you a negative or non-negative result above or below a certain cutoff level. Uh, they don't convey exactly the level of chemical in a sample like a breathalyzer for alcohol, for instance. Uh, this test is different. This test will give you more of a quantitative result. Um, more like a breathalyzer. So this device will detect marijuana at 50 nanograms, which is the standard level of, of detection in Australia uh, that you'll find at medical centers or places of business that uh, use urine drug testing. Uh, plus four other levels, starting at 18 nanograms per mil. Uh, this is 50. This is 18, 50, 150, 300 and 600 nanograms per mil. Uh, we've made this device available because of the massive amount of THC can penetrate your uh, your fat cells uh, over long periods of use. Um, I had someone not long ago who was uh, uh, negative for THC, a uh, non-negative, sorry, for THC uh, after 60 days of weaning off the drug. So that just shows how much this thing can, uh, in, you know, penetrate your uh, metabolism. So uh, first things first, you'll um, you'll open up the device, uh, make sure the uh, device is in. Uh, expiration date, uh, open up the foil and then take the lid off and then as you just seen dip the absorbent strips into the urine sample and, and wait about 10 to 15 seconds for the strips to actuate. Then you can replace the cap and read the results after five minutes. Uh, this drug test won't always take five minutes. As soon as you see two lines appear in any drug strip, um, it's safe to say that that is a negative result, just like all drug tests. So the first level, the 18 nanogram strip, would refer to uh, someone that, um, that smokes very lightly uh, or has smoked within the last 72 hours. Uh, the second level, the 50 nanogram one, uh, would, have, would refer to occasional smoking, maybe every weekend. Uh, the third level, 150 nanograms per mil, uh, would refer to occasional to habit smoking every other day. Fourth level, uh, 300 nanograms per mil, uh, would mean regular smoking probably uh, every day. And the fifth level, the highest level, 600 nanograms per mil, uh, would be a very regular smoking uh, smoker uh, a few times a day. So, yeah, obviously these are just estimates. Um, uh, THC will affect p uh, different people in different ways due to a person's metabolism or fitness or weight, uh, etc. So I just cut the video a little bit there and, uh, and waited a full four minutes because the uh, line in the 18 nanogram uh, strip was a little bit faint, but as you can see, it's definitely there. So that is a negative result for all THC levels there. So if you've got any questions, please email me at dave at ozdrugtests.com.au and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.